Well, welcome to Texon. My name is David. I hope you all uh, are taking care of yourself and uh, uh, follow the recommendation from the, the authorities regarding the COVID-19. So keep safe, that's the most important thing. Today uh, we are going to take a look at uh, the Thunderbolt connection to use a Thunderbolt connection on a laptop like uh, this one, this uh, Dell XPS uh, 13 uh, 7930 model, it's the 2 in one. So this one has only two uh, connections, uh, one uh, Thunderbolt connection on this side and another on this side. And that's uh, <laughs> not much, so you have to have some kind of adapter plugged in all the time if you are using uh, any connection with uh, type A, USB type A. Yet. So, um, there's several ways to solve this. Uh, you can use uh, a Thunderbolt dock like uh, this one behind me. Uh, and then you can have, uh, plug in uh, a monitor also. But uh, you don't uh, have the power, for example, to play uh, AAA titles uh, with this kind of laptop. So, uh, to solve that, uh, I have uh, bought an uh, eGPU. You can see it's the Mantis Venus variant of eGPUs. There are others also, Razer, uh, Razer Core X Chroma and Razer Core X and uh, some other also from Akitio, Akitio Node and so on. There are several of them. Uh, this one is not so expensive. It's uh, around 220 US dollars or 220 euros. Um, including shipping for this the, uh, this uh, eGPU. And inside that uh, one you need to have a graphic card of course and uh, in that one I have an, an RTX uh, 2080 uh, Super from uh, Gigabyte. Uh, and that gives uh, power to play uh, almost uh, all games. Uh, it, uh, it, it plays all games but maybe uh, depending on your monitor, for example, this one is an uh, ultra-wide uh, 2K monitor, and, and that that is pretty heavy to to drive even with uh, uh, this uh, graphic card. Uh, but the thing is, uh, that when you you only need uh, one cable uh, to connect because uh, the the power uh, supply in in the Mantis, Mantis Venus and all the uh, eGPUs. Uh, have enough power to drive uh, small laptops, even 15-inch uh, laptops, in, in most cases. Uh, not may maybe not um, more. Um, uh, uh, for example, the Razer Blade 15. It's not possible to to drive with uh, uh, only the USB Type C uh, cable, uh, Thunderbolt cable. So uh, you just uh, plug this one in. Uh, on, in, in the Thunderbolt port, uh, of course. And you can hear it, uh, the Mantis Venus starts to, uh, to uh, starts up and, uh, and you can see uh, the, the screen is, uh, uh, is connected also. And uh, of course uh, the graphic card to drive this uh, screen also. As you can see in, uh, in the device manager, of course. So um, this uh, worked fine uh, part of the time for me. I, um, I connected it and uh, maybe sat down and worked for, uh, for one, two hours, sometimes 20 minutes. And then the, the screen froze. It, it just froze and you couldn't do anything. Uh, and that has all happened for me with uh, the Dell XPS. Uh, starting in this case. Um, so uh, that issue I will also uh, show you how to avoid and uh, eliminate. So uh, that, that's uh, the introduction. Um, I will be very happy if you can subscribe to my channel because it helps me a lot and uh, it keeps me motivated to, to deliver more videos. So let's start with uh, the, um, to show you how to connect uh, the laptop uh, and uh, install the drivers and so on to, to get this um, combination to work. Yeah, okay.
first thing you have to do is uh, use your Thunderbolt cable and connect your laptop to the eGPU on the uh, Thunderbolt uh, port uh, on both devices. And uh, after that, you um, need to uh, go to the uh, device manager. And uh, in there, you will see the display adapter is uh, expanded. And um, that's because you have uh, the system uh, think you have an, uh, a new uh, hardware installed. So this will uh, say Microsoft uh, display adapter and uh, you will right, have to right click and choose update driver and use search uh, online to get the uh, latest drivers for this uh, system. So if you have a Radeon card or if you have a gigabyte uh, Nvidia card, then it's, um, that's, um, that will uh, work either way. So you can see here you have get, get a message in the down right corner saying that you have an installation done. And you can also see that uh, uh, Windows have successfully updated your drivers. And in my case, the 2080, 2080 Super card. Oh, so the next step, uh, we will check the, the power settings. And uh, usually it's only Dell uh, available, but I have added another uh, another one also. Uh, so you choose change uh, plan settings and uh, change advanced power settings. And here you some some laptops have all the options here, but uh, not Dell because they have limited uh, the, the settings uh, for the user. So I will show you a safe way to expand this uh, power settings. You have to, uh, in the search bar, you can uh, try uh, type uh, reg edit or registry editor and uh, just click on that uh, icon. And you have to uh, answer yes on this uh, question. So you have to expand the HK local machine and go to system and current control set. And uh, under that you have control, you have to expand that also and move down to power. Just mark power and uh, select uh, CS enabled. And there you change uh, from uh, one to zero. And just uh, push OK. And then uh, you are done and you can close uh, the register editor. So the next step is to go to power settings after you have rebooted the system because you need a reboot for this to, to work. Uh, so go to power settings after the rebooting and uh, you choose uh, change uh, settings and uh, here you do the advanced settings and here you can see you have uh, much more options here to, to play with. But the one we are interested in is uh, PCIe Express because Thunderbolt's connection is via the PCIe Express uh, lanes. And uh, you expand this one and you have two options. It's a uh, battery and, uh, and uh, on, on, on uh, power. So you, you choose the, the later one, uh, expand this one also and choose uh, the one uh, when connected to power. And, uh, you set this to off because um, if you have this to off, then it won't uh, disconnect um, the PCIe uh, lanes to the Thunderbolt connection. So it's just to uh, push OK and uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, is done now. And uh, the only thing I think you should do is to reboot your system now before you start using it. The last thing I want to show is uh, two settings in uh, BIOS that you can change to improve the connection. So on the system uh, configuration, you uh, just uh, roll down uh, to the Thunderbolt section and uh, the first one is always on. But the other two uh, be below that is uh, off by default. So um, if you set them to on, I think you will have, uh, I, I know you will have a faster connection when coming direct uh, from a new booted system. So you just uh, activate them and uh, save and uh, exit the, uh, the BIOS and uh, the system will restart. 
So if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel and give it a video a thumbs up. But enough for this time and uh, we see you in the next video. Bye bye.